Today, I wanted to talk about one of my favorite utilities called the FZF, which is a command line fuzzy finder, and in particular, its integration with Vim. So this is the repository. I'll have links for everything in the description. This is the repository for FZF, uh, and its integration with Vim is fzf.vim, written by the same author. It's basically just a wrapper for FZF itself. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to set up FZF with Vim using Vim plug and also setting up some basic key bindings. Uh, one thing I do recommend is going through the installation yourself and seeing exactly what works for you. They recommend putting both of these lines in, but I have FZF installed through my package manager. So I only really do this second line. Uh, so if we go ahead and take a look inside of my init.vim if I can type today. So here it is line five. I just have this set up. So you can go ahead, add this line, source your file, and then run plug install if you're using Vim plug. And the few key bindings I want to set up here, I've listed. So there are a couple things that you can do with FZF inside of Vim in particular that I find very useful. One of them is this files command. And of course, this is all documented on the GitHub, which I'll have a link to. So when you run files, if I type it here manually at the bottom, it's going to show all the files that are in your current directory and searching recursively down. So here you can see at the bottom, it's showing 7,450 files out of 7,450 because it can load or it can filter things out. So if I search for anything that ends in .js, you see this top number reduces. Um, so this is a ton of files. If you're working in a, a node project and has a, a ton of node modules, you're probably not gonna wanna be having these show up. So that's gonna bring us to our second example, which is G files. G files only shows the files that you have tracked by Git. So anything in your, in your Git ignore is not gonna show up if you're searching for them. So let's go ahead and manually type G files, press enter. You can see I only have a couple files here. There's nine files. It's gonna load up way faster and you're not gonna have everything cluttered. So you can search manually for anything that ends in .ts, working with TypeScript or anything with JSON. And you get a little nice preview on the right hand side of what the file looks like. Uh, and of course, if you want to open these up, you can press enter to go into it. Um, or, you know, if we do this again, you can select multiple files. So say I want to select the readme, I can press tab and you see it added a little one down here. That means that there's one file selected and you can see a little uh, red indicator next to it. And let's say I also want to view the get ignore. I'm going to press tab again and let's press enter. You can't really see it right now because it just opened it in your buffer list. Um, which is the next thing I'm going to be talking about is showing your buffers. Same thing, colon, buffers, press enter. Now you get a nice list of all your buffers that are currently open. So you want to pop over that readme. You can hit this readme. Um, hit buffers again. You see, it's pretty useful. Now setting up these particular key bindings, uh, you know, you can change these to be, to be whatever you want. Um, I set up control P to show files. Control G to show get files and control O to show my open buffers. I was thinking O as in open, you know, this is modifiable. You can go ahead and make it whatever you want um, and make sure it doesn't conflict with any of your existing key bindings. The last thing that uh, I will show you, which isn't, you know, a hundred percent about FZF, but it integrates with FZF is using rip grep, or if you use the silver searcher already, you can use that as well. You can come down here and see, all, all of the features that you can get out of it. But here is rip grep. So you do colon RG, a space, and then some sort of file, uh, some sort of pattern, regex pattern. Um, it rip grep is just a faster, different version of grep. Same with AG, which is the silver searcher, uh, whatever you prefer to use. Um, and then you can notice that I have this exclamation mark at the end. That's just saying, pull up the results in full screen in FCF. Uh, and I do have a space here at the end. And when you go ahead and run this command, so I have it set up to control F, it just types this in at the bottom. It's just a little nice, so you don't have to type it every time. So say I wanna search for the word test, and then I could go ahead and press enter. It's pulling this up in full screen. It's gonna show all the results. You know, sometimes you search for something and there's like a million results. I kind of like having them all popping up. So if you want, you can remove that. Um, let's go ahead and source the file and run it again. I'll show you what it looks like. Let's go test. And now it's only pulling it up part way. Um, I prefer the, the whole preview. So, you know, it's, it's just a preference thing. Um, 
And that's pretty much all I wanted to cover. This is a really great tool. It's going to make your life so much easier uh, working in Vim. Uh, you know, if you want to pull up something else that you have in another tab or uh, sorry, another buffer, and you just want to hop back to the previous buffer you were in, you can press, in this case, control O and then enter, control O, enter. Um, say, oh yeah, I want that open in a vertical split. Control O, press control V, it's going to show it in a vertical split. Um, control O, you want to show something else in a horizontal split, control X. It just makes everything really easy to work with and honestly makes everything way more fluid. I, I don't know how I could work in Vim without this. Uh, so you go through here, see what you would like to integrate with it, set up your own key bindings, um, figure out what configuration you would like to use and go ahead and play with the original FZF, which you can use in the command line because that's, that's also super useful. Um, you could go ahead and I have a key binding set of control T here to show files and same thing. Same fuzzy searching, search for test, you can search for uh, you know, parse, you know, whatever. Uh, just super useful tool, has a million uses. This only really scratches the surface of it. I'll go ahead and link these in the description. Let me know if you want to know anything else or if there are any other tools that you want me to cover in future videos and have a good one.